My kitchen right now smells divine, and that's because of this, hot smoked salmon, which I'm using in my next recipe. And where's the place to find the best smoked salmon around? Scotland, of course. Now, I've always assumed that wild salmon is better than farm salmon, but these days, that's not necessarily true. One thing's for sure, though, as wild salmon numbers dwindle, we need to find a more sustainable source of this fish. Here on the banks of the River Tay, in Dunkeld in Perthshire, is Spring Wells, an artisan smokehouse with a reputation for smoking wild salmon caught by local fishermen. So the River Tay here is right in the doorstep, so the business here was set up to smoke anglers' fish. Here we are, here's your salmon that's been sliced into packs. Oh, there, you are. there we are. Absolutely beautiful. The number of Tay salmon fishermen who bring their fish for smoking is getting less each year. Of course, these days, far more uh, fish are put back, quite rightly, to preserve stocks. As catch and release policies came in, as the, the netting stations have been bought out to reduce the pressure um, on wild salmon stocks, we have gradually built up the amount of farm salmon we produce. We've transferred all of our knowledge over smoking wild fish into a farm fish. These days, the company has a reputation for smoking the best farm salmon in town. So the hot smoked salmon uh, was part of the starter used at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee lunch at Schoon Palace. The caterers prepared hot smoked salmon with our cold smoked salmon with a beetroot compote. If farm salmon is good enough for Her Majesty, then it's good enough for me. Rob now champions farm salmon, but back in the 90s, it didn't have the best reputation. Intensive farming and the use of growth hormones was believed to produce unhealthy fish. But improved farming methods have changed opinions. So here's a delivery of uh, a high quality farm fish. This is a naturally and ethically reared fish. Uh, this is a co complete natural colour. There's been no uh, pigment or dye applied to the fish. So we know it's really good quality. It feels muscular and very, very healthy. Rob sources his farm salmon from Wester Ross, one of the ten farms across Scotland who harvest fish. Here, the salmon are reared onshore in fresh water, then put out in nets in the seawater locks. The fish are hand-fed, and the keepers keep a close eye on them to make sure they're in tip-top condition. Growing something that tastes good is very, very important to us, and happy salmon definitely tastes better. Everything we do is designed to minimise the stress so that we end up with low-stress salmon that will truly taste better. With many salmon farms across Scotland, there's plenty of local rivalry to see whose fish are the finest. Last year, we had, we, we, at our staff barbecue, we had quite an interesting uh, little blind taste trial. And it was completely blind. And we took a, another farmer's salmon and our own salmon, and we did a blind tasting, and they were both uh, cooked on the barbecue in exactly the same way. And these are by, these are by people who are, are, uh, think they know their fish. And it was very interesting. By a margin of five to one, the preference in favour of our own was, was staggering. So I was plenty reassured that uh, they like eating their salmon. Once the farm salmon arrives at the smokehouse, it's the job of the master smoker to give the fish its distinctive smoked flavour. It's just the flavour that I need for my phyllo pastry pie. First, the salmon is dipped in brine, that salted water to you and me, and soaked for four hours. The fish is then placed on wire racks and goes into an oven where it is smoked for 20 hours. What we're using is a mix of whiskey barrel chips and oat sawdust down on top of that. The temperature is increased, so it's nice and hot for the final phase. We're going to roast the salmon, so we want this to burn at a high temperature now. So we put the fish in for about an hour and a half at between 80 to 100 degrees C. So everything I've done so far, this is the, the fruits of my labour. Ronnie's roasting method cooks the fish until it's flaky and rich in flavour. He's even noticed a shift in taste preference towards the farm salmon. People tend to prefer the farm, which is, is moister and it's just an all-round nicer product. 
It seems Ronnie and Rob are doing a fine job, and I can't wait to taste their smoked salmon and bake it into my next recipe. And this is it. This is the salmon that's come all the way down from Scotland. And Rob, thank you very much. Nice to see you. Delighted lovely, to be here. Lovely to meet you. This great. is a great piece of salmon. Yeah. It smells lovely. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to try this. Let me just get. Let me just get a knife. Let me just draw a knife in there. And this is farmed, isn't it? It's a farmed fish. Yes. That is very special. That really has got some depth of flavour, hasn't it? It has. Now I've got a dish. I'm going to use this in. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I'm going to call it a Hollywood temptation. It's based on a Jensen's Temptation, which used sprats. It came from Sweden and was eaten most of the time around Christmas time, but nowadays it's eaten all year round. My Hollywood's Temptation is a warming phyllo pastry pie, filled with layers of creamy hot smoked salmon, sweet onions and potato. To start with, over here, I basically blanched the slices of potatoes in milk for about five minutes just to soften them. They've still got a little bit of bite to them, but I'm going to finish them off with the salmon in a minute inside an en croute one. I'm actually going to use phyllo pastry. Over here, I have my tin, and this has been buttered, inside which I'm going to put my phyllo pastry. You can make phyllo at home, but to be honest, it's incredibly tricky. A good quality shop bought one will do the job. I'm just going to brush melted butter all over the top. Now, this is going to be the first layer going inside the tin. Now, I'll show you, quite fiddly. Lift up a sheet of the pastry, drop it into the middle, and then take it into the sides as much as you can and let it drop down the outside. Now, don't worry, it's not going to cover all of it, which is why we've got many sheets. I'm going to do another layer and then build up the layers all the way around the tin. Would you notice a difference whether you use, you know, wild or farmed salmon, whether it's hot smoked or cold smoked? Definitely for cold smoked. The dry salt curing and the cold smoked method um, will create a difference. The wild tends to be much softer and subtle, uh, with a creamier and slightly gamey texture. The hot smoked salmon, because it's had a brine cure, to be honest, a good farm fish will be just as good as, as a wild fish. Having prepared the tin with phyllo, it's time to layer the filling. I've got my potatoes, which have been blanched in the milk and left drained in on the top. Now, these are, are still got a little bit of bite to them. So what I'm going to do is pop layers of this into the bottom of the phyllo pastry inside the tin. Get them right into the corners and start building up your layers. This dish, I think, should keep that creaminess in the salmon as well. The thing I'm going to do next, actually, is add onions. Now, over here, I've got some onions which I've cooked out just for about five, ten minutes. Release that little bit of sugar and caramel in there. Now, that goes on top of the potatoes, and that creates a little bit of a bed for the next layer. Now, the next layer <laughs> yeah. is your salmon. Now, what I've got to do here, I'm not going to be all, you know, chefy about it and rip it. I'm just literally just going to rip stuff yeah. off yeah. and lay it on. Now, there's the bed. That's the protection I was telling you about. You've got yes, a bit of onion right. at the bottom protecting it. On mm -hmm. top of that, I'm going to put potatoes again. Yeah. But this just flakes so well. I mean, look at the colour of it. That's gorgeous. The smell is... It, it's difficult to describe, but salmon, with that sort of heady mixture of the butter as well, and the onions, and then these gratin potatoes going on the top, you can imagine when you cut into this what it's going to be like. Now, another big layer of potatoes going on top. Next thing I'm going to add is finish off my onions. They'll go in there as well. Good layer of onions all over the top. Spread it out. Then one last layer of salmon. The idea is you, you want to get those big chunks, you know? Don't break it up too much. I like to keep quite bulky pieces of fish in there. Well, I'd agree with that, because I think that chunkiness gives it that... You keep that flavour really, really well like that. Yeah. I think if you shred it down too much, you're going to lose what, what this pie is all about. What's your favourite way of eating salmon? Well, <clears throat> I would tend to eat hot smoked salmon a lot. I think it's a, a great and flexible dish to eat. I think you can have it on a barbecue. We can just eat it as it is. It's just great to eat on its own. Lovely with a bit of mayonnaise and for a meal with small buttered new potatoes, a bit of peppery salad, a bit of creme fraiche with uh, a touch of horseradish. Goes beautifully. You've forgotten one thing. Oh, what's this? that? This. Hollywood, Hollywood <laughs> temptation. Well, this could be the new thing. <laughs> it will be, it the, will new be thing. the new thing. <laughs> OK. 
So you've got a good layer, two double layers all the way up. Now, the milk that I actually cooked the potatoes in is still here. Into this, I'm going to add some cream. Now, that should keep the creaminess of the salmon going as well. So I'm going to pop the cream in there, add a little bit of seasoning to that as well. Now, that is now going to be poured all over the top, nice and gently. Leave this to soak in. As I was saying, this cream and milk should then hold that salmon together and enrich it. I don't think it's going to take anything away from it. Oh, no. See what you can get in there. I've really packed that together. It takes a little couple of minutes for that to soak in. That's perfect. Add a layer of potatoes across the top to protect the salmon. Now, this is going to be ready to flip over. So you literally just grab the phyllo pastry and fold it all over the top, trying to keep it all. It's like a parcel. It's like wrapping a parcel. Bit of pressure in there. And then finally, I've got some a little bit of butter here. Drizzle that over the top. And this, again, will bind and coat all the, the phyllo pastry on the top and stick it all together. And there you have it. It's ready to go in the oven at 200 degrees, 30 to 35 minutes. It'd be beautiful and golden brown. Got one here that's just been done. Now, look at that. There it is. It's beautiful. It's golden brown. Pop the sides. Lift it away gently. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The Hollywood Temptation. This gorgeously rich pie crammed full of hot smoked salmon can be served hot or cold. Mm -hmm.